Hey folks, Kevin with the Real Angers Fishing Show right here on the Gentleman again at a Channel Island Sport Fishing. We got some lovely assault diamond jigs here to use. Our Promar Ahi sponsor took care of us. This, this episode is called Average James. I bought my buddy James out today. He's only been out once. We're going to show you how easy it is to really come out here and catch some fish. We're going to use some of these great products here. We got the Chase and Tail crew in the back. A light load out here on the Gentleman. We're headed off to Channel Islands. Probably Anna Kapler or Santa Cruz. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this trip aboard the Gentleman Real Angers Fishing Show. Let's go. Solution in this time. Modern day disillusion in this time. Modern day solution in this time. Hi! <laughs> Boy, it's in there good. The girls can fish. Yeah. Really good. Yes, we can. The fifth one right here. Fifth one? Yeah. What, are you, what are you catching it on? Uh, anchovies. Anchovies? Yeah. Good job. Right. So another setup is the dropper loop. Everybody uses it, kind of like what I did on the other setup. This time we're going to leave the whole, the whole loop on there. We're using a circle hook. Use a circle hook because as deep as we're fishing, you can't set the hook. So this actually um, turns this way. That's why it's called a circle hook. So when the fish goes to swim off with your bait, it hooks himself. You want to make sure that that hook is facing towards the loop. Slide that on there. And we're going to stick a good 16 ounces of lead on there. I don't know how much current we got, but we're going to go straight to 16. Some of these spots are small, so if you get right down there with heavier lead, you get right into the fish. And then if there's not a lot of current, you can go to like an 8 ounce or something, but I like to start with 16 ounces, get right down to the bottom. Also get you past everybody else. So if there's tangles, you got down first, you got the fish first, everybody else has to sacrifice their setup for you to get your fish. So heavier lead to start with, a couple of hooks. We do some damage here. This is for my buddy James. He's going to get his limit today, out here on The Gentleman. Stay tuned. Got a double hookup going here. It's on the gentleman. All right. Hashtag the gent. Yeah. Oh, triple. There you go. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's a big dog right there. Hold it up. Let's see. There's a nice one there. Second double ever. Dubles. <laughs> so James, go ahead and tell them about uh, your first time out on the gentleman. Uh, well, it's been it's been you know consistent, steady. Been dropping my line in there. I brought up about five five rockfish so far. Excuse me, four rockfish and one whitefish. And uh, this guy, as soon as it hit the bottom, they just bit double. <laughs> that's that's exciting. <laughs> well, you know, I don't always have time to fish, but. Uh, I see my uh, buddy Kevin with Real Anglers Fishing, and he's always invited me to go out, so I cut out some time, and uh, this is all the fun that he's always having, bringing in uh, nice fish like this. I think I'll take this home, give it to my wife. Uh, she'll probably make up some good fish tacos, and yeah, another that's just a great day of fishing. Another tree fish. There you go. Has got one. Right there, See, all the little strip of squid. Trying. Works every time. Single strip, nice quality tree fish. Got color. Here it come. White fish, sheep's head. Oh, white fish. Nice one. Wow. There you go. What'd you catch it on? 
loop. Single dropper loop. That single dropper loop setup's been a hot ticket, huh? Yes, sir. Hold it up there, bro. There we go. Yeah, put, put, put it out there. Fish All right, folks, we're gonna tell you about whitefish today. We caught quite a few today on the gentleman. This is a whitefish. Look at that sucker, ain't that beautiful? Big fish. You can do so many different things with these types of fish. Fish tacos, ceviche, really prized fish, and they fight really good, especially one this size. I joke around calling these our Anacapa yellowtail. This has gotta be probably, I don't know, four or five pound fish. You could use two hooks for those, like the two hook setups we showed you earlier, but you wanna use a little bit smaller hook, okay? So we have like a one and a size two hook, okay? And what you wanna do is one strip of squid. You're gonna hear it on the video, one strip of squid is all you need. Hook it straight through one time, come back through, and that's it, okay? The whitefish here have a little smaller mouth, if you can see the mouth there. So that's all you need is a little strip. Suck it in, set that hook, bury it in his face, and start fighting it. Don't put too much bait. Some people like to glob it on like that. You're gonna cover up the barb and the hook. So when he's picking at it, you're not gonna be able to set the hook. So again, just one time through, one strip of squid on that two hook setup, using sinkers from uh, up to 10 ounces, all the way down to five, depending on the wind and the current. We've been able to use both today, a little, little bit of current, so we had to go to a 10. Earlier today, it was lighter, so we can get away with a five. Using bass gear, we use 20 pound test. We use some, some uh, again, bass gear, straight to the bottom. Wait for that sucker to start biting start pulling. Again, these nice big white fish. Come out and catch yourself one on the gentleman. You'll be happy. Let's go.